Hey guys, I recently reviewed this uh, Hakusuka Kyosho Skyline. It's an all-wheel drive chassis called the MAO2. I have a whole bunch of tires, so I thought I'd just try them out, you know, see, test them and stuff like that. So I'm running a PVC floor. Um, so this is a piece of that stuff, and you can see the wood grain here, this fake wood. Uh, it's not, it's not a major texture, right? You can actually see the ridges right here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this flooring, by the way. It's garbage. Uh, the quick lock here, uh, the plastic just breaks here and the, it tends to warp and stuff like that. So don't buy PVC flooring. It's not good. Okay, well, the stock uh, tires here that came on this thing. Let's get rid of this gray thing, actually, and look at the white paper as a background. So you can see there's a bit of a, a doming by, by this uh, Kyosho here. These are old tires that came with the ready set body. It was a Trueno body and it came with these Watanabes. So I'm sure the wheel might, well, the wheel is different. It's much a bigger diameter. And I don't know, I did run it a lot. So this is a really flat tire now. Uh, mental note on this one. Thing. I noticed when I was removing the thing the actual tire is molded onto the wheel right so it's interesting how they did that the the tire the the real tire is the same you know diameter as that but the way they make this look like a smaller diameter wheel is they actually just painted part of the wheel black so it looks like a fake tire and it also gives that detail of looking like a you know a ridge on a tire I just thought that was interesting Okay, so those are those two next to each other, the two Kyoshos. This one just might be flattened out. This is uh, Atomic Racing, and these are brand new. I labeled the insides because they all look so sim similar. But Atomic Racing, from the get-go, is a pretty, pretty flat tire. All right. Uh, then I have these metal alloy wheels. These are what I run on my drift art. The problem is you can't use them on Kyoshos. If you look at the back of a Kyosho wheel, it has this this shape protruding, and that's what rests against the ball inner race of the ball bearing. And for some reason, because this is bigger, it just wobbles. It doesn't it doesn't want to stay tight against the ball bearing race uh, because I think it's I don't know it just doesn't work. But I'm gonna uh, pop the tires off. And, and just put them on one of these Kyosho uh, sets and we'll try these. And so you can see, look at the doming of this. But these domed ones only come in a wide width uh, wheel. You know, these are narrow wheels by Kyosho and this is obviously a wider, wide one. It'll fit a wide Kyosho, but. Then I also have my old uh, R35 Skyline, which is running these DS Racing LF5s, and you'll see this is a wide wheel here, so you could actually put the domed ones on that, and it's running narrow fronts. So I'm going to swap these over, and we'll test the, these out as well. And then I already have the WL Toys, you know, this WL Toys Porsche here. So I already have these wheels on here. They're quite slick. Uh, they actually look like they're concave, uh, looking against the paper here. It looks like it's actually two ridges on the outside and the middle is not actually touching. So that's quite interesting. So we're gonna do some inclination slide tests and see how much grip they have sliding sideways. And then I'll just drive them around. So here are the stock Kyosho tires and we're gonna see at what angle this thing starts to slide down this PVC flooring, which is garbage flooring by the way, don't ever buy it.
15. So the dome tires that came on those alley wheels had to be swapped over to Kyosho wheels because those alley wheels don't uh, fit Kyosho's. They're too wobbly. Something about the interface with the ball bearing, I guess. So you can see, you know, the tires are wide, and so they look goofy on these narrow front wheels. It was fine on the, the wide rear wheel, of course. These are from my R35 Mini Z. So, whoa. Yeah, the tail kicks out very fast. It like it like jackknifes. See, uh, <laughs> so this is very difficult to control. It's totally different. Hold on, I got I got to change my driving style. Ah, oh, see, it kicks, it jackknifes around like an old 911. Whoa, I don't know if these are, are good. It's like the fronts have too much grip and the rears have almost no grip. That's what it feels like. See, it just kicks around. That's in training mode. So I'm going to switch over to 100% uh, mode and... This is going to be crazy. It's going to be impossible, I think. All right, so that's now 100% throttle. Oh, yeah, T. Yeah, there's too much... There's too much steering in the front. Too much grip in the front and none in the back. So that's why the tail just whips around like that. <laughs> so this is uncontrollable. It's uh, the domed wheels. I think, I mean, they work fine on my uh, drift art. Maybe dome, super domed wheels are better for real wheel, real wheel rear wheel drive chassis, but this being all wheel. This is quite interesting. Because they have so much grip, I'm oddly driving easier with these because I'm just holding the throttle 100%. For some reason, the way these tires are worn out, this particular floor in whatever speed is 100% on the Mini Z, this allows me to actually drift a pretty tight circle.
the other direction is always going to be harder for some reason. You know? I'm just holding this throttle 100%. So that's really interesting. This goes against all conventional thinking that these are probably the grippiest tires and yet I can drift the best with them. These feel very slick. These are the best tires so far. They're better than the Atomics, they're better than the Kyoshas by far. I had a much harder time getting a tighter drift with those other two tires because they have too much traction on this particular floor. Now if you were running a perfectly smooth surface, maybe those other tires would be better because they actually have more traction. I don't know. Probably not though. <laughs> okay. So this is a big improvement. I mean, if you watch my uh, Kyosho video on, on this chassis, it was really hard to, it was much harder. But for some reason, this thing just feels easier to control now because it's actually looser. Being all wheel drive is still gonna have much wider arcs than re a rear wheel drive chassis. Push it down to uh, half, uh, half, half throttle, basically training mode. So this is my 50% power. It's uh, much easier to control now. That's why it's called training mode, I guess. It's still a pretty wide arc, though, being an all-wheel drive car. But hold on, let me if I... Oh, it's getting tighter, maybe, tighter. Very little throttle now. I have a harder time going, turning right than turning left. It might be because the batteries, you know, outweigh the motor. I'm not, I'm guessing this chassis isn't actually balanced left, right. Yeah. Please leave a comment if that's the same for you guys on this all wheel drive chassis.
Uh, by the way, I cross-threaded one of these plastic lock nuts already, so it's really worthwhile to buy aluminum uh, lock nuts. These have nylocks on them as well, so that's very nice. And they come in cool colors, so... Um, this thing doesn't have a gyro, so I, I guess I'm just not skilled enough to enjoy it to its 100% potential. Uh, but it still works very well. Uh, now, when it comes to the tires, I can't uh, any. I can't really say which I like the most. I mean, you can basically adapt to any of these tires. Um, you know, obviously the Kyosho. I find that I guess these probably could be the worst because they actually have too much grip, and so it, you can drift it, but they're just really big, wide circles or wide arcs because it does have so much grip. The Atomics do feel a little bit better. Uh, the slickest ones, though, are actually the WL Toys. Um, they they seem to be, I guess, the loosest. Uh, and then, oddly, contradictory to logical thinking, these DS Racings have a lot of grip, but for some reason, at full throttle, I can actually drift with these tires pretty well. So it defies uh, normal normal thinking. Uh, these were just horrible though, these domed ones. They just they just don't work. The rear end just kicked out way too fast and the front almost had no drifting at all, which is weird because there's not much plastic touching the the flooring. And then, you know, obviously you saw me at the drifting this thing, this hobby grade thing. And so the reason why this can drift so slow is because the gyro is doing all the work. There's no way I could drift this. It's the gyro doing all the work. So, it leads to the question, also, you know, look at the steering lock. It can do, it can drive into a, a drift very easily. But the question is, do I buy the gyro for this? Maybe, maybe I should, and then I will be able to do better drifting. Yeah. But we'll have to see, that'll be a future video. Uh, if I can find other tires on AliExpress, I guess I will try them. They're not very expensive, it seems, you know, you can get a set for between five dollars five to ten dollars it seems some with wheels even right so okay well i guess the the main thing you can take away is the slide test you know to see at what angle the the tires start to break traction sideways and then you can decide for yourself what you want to get but every type of floor requires a different tire so you're running concrete different tire if you're running a smoother surface without a wood grain pattern probably a different floor and definitely ceramics you know the ceramics and glass uh, are going to be very slick surfaces uh, what i'm going to have to try to do is try one of those vinyl tra race tracks and that'll be interesting but anyways for today that's it and don't be surprised if there's another video if i find some more tires to try out thanks for watching guys bye